Hello friends, I'm glad to be with you today in prayer. Today I'm going to offer a prayer for nonviolence as we approach the celebration of the birth of Margaret Luther King Jr. on Monday. I'm going to offer a prayer for nonviolence, but begin with a quote by Dr. King. Nonviolence is the answer to the crucial political and moral questions of our time the need for mankind to overcome oppression and violence without resorting to oppression and violence. Let's pray together. God of peace, we know you are gentle, loving, compassionate, and nonviolent. You gently call us to your wisdom and way of nonviolence. You give us the freedom to do as we will. Help us to do your will of peace, to choose your way of nonviolence. Help us to live a nonviolent life to become your holy people of nonviolence, to welcome your reign of peace and nonviolence here on earth. Lord, help us to be nonviolent. Give us the grace to let go of violence, to love and accept ourselves, and to treat others nonviolently. Send your Holy Spirit of peace upon us that we might live in relationship with you as your beloved child. Help us to practice loving nonviolence toward everyone we know and meet. Help us to be nonviolent to all creatures and all creation. Give us heart as wide as the world that we might love everyone around the world, even those who are clearly our enemies. We pray for nonviolence in our families, our communities, and especially this week in our nation. We know that we are targeted as enemies by many in our nation. Open our hearts to love every human being as our sister and brother. Amen. Friends, I'm going to offer two readings today, one from the Old Testament and one from the New. The first is from Matthew 26, 52. But Jesus said to him, Put your sword in its place, for all who take the sword will perish by the sword. And these words from Isaiah, from the 60th chapter, verse 18. Violence shall no longer be heard in your land, either wasting nor destruction within your borders. But you shall call your walls salvation and your gates praise. The sun shall no longer be your light by day, nor for, nor for brightness shall the moon give you light to you. But the Lord will be to you an everlasting light, and your God your glory. Friends, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Have a blessed day.